Hello guys! Welcome everyone to Mando Monday! This is the series where you guys ask the questions and I, of course, answer them. This could be due with anything related to Counter-Strike Global Offensive, possibly some Antwerp Major stuff that's going on right now. Should you sell or possibly buy into the Stockholm hype that's happening at this very moment in time? And, of course, do I like Star Wars? As of right now, I don't mind it. What are your thoughts on it? Love to know that. If you guys have a question that you guys want answered in next week's video to chance of me picking it, leave it down in the comments section. Once again, this series has gone up a lot farther than I ever really expected it to, and I couldn't thank you guys enough for that. But with that being said, before we hop into the questions, here's a quick word from our video sponsor, Skins Monkey. Hi you, yes you. Would you like to get $5 for free for your first trade? Just use skinsmonkey.com and get your extra skins. See the description below to enjoy the special promotion and receive 5% cashback for trading your CSGO skins. Now, our first question up here is from, of course, Kingpin. And he says, ask Mando, what do you think about Ants for Apollo stickers, which are now higher tier? So what he means by this is they're harder to unbox. There's more stickers in each sort of capsule, right? Will they be more expensive than in the last major? So right off the rip, I think you kind of just answered your own question. I do think they're going to be more valuable, but this, of course, isn't going to mean nothing until we see a 75% off sale. And if you guys are unfamiliar with what this guy's talking about, is that they've recently replaced the foil stickers with, of course, the glitter stickers and made the hollow a higher tier. On top of that, there's just a whole lot of stickers this year, which is good and also a really bad thing. I talked about this in Operation Riptide being a very bad thing because there's so many different stickers in the game. There's over 350 stickers getting added every single year at this point in time with just one major and an operation. And of course with that, not everyone's going to like every single sticker, let alone know every single sticker. So you're going to probably see during the 75% off sale, before the 75% off sale, there's going to be little to less of no quantity of a certain sticker. It could be really good looking and there's just not enough unboxed because there's so many different capsules. You also have to remember there's a Legends capsule, a Legends autograph capsule, and it's, it's like that for each sort of category. So I do think they're going to be more valuable at the beginning, but going into the future, I think they're going to go down the toilet, but that's only, of course, time will tell on that one. Our next question up here, we're just going to call you nine, okay? Hello, I was wondering if I should sell my clutch case investments now and use that money on Antwerp Major stickers because I really like how the Eternal Fire sticker could turn out. By the way, love your content, man. Cheers. I appreciate that man really really do so the clutch case at this moment in time a lot of people have related this to the next glove case if they don't release a clutch 2 case which i am a firm believer that it would never happen but there are some other people who think it's a decent possibility i myself the reason i don't think it is is because it's too far of a gap right? i think they just move on to something else it could be just be the one-off case every once in a while but i could be wrong on that that's just how i feel about it with my gut the clutch case right now at 28 to 30 cents, it's a really good price. And you also gotta remember it's an active duty case, but the thing is, it's the most unboxed case every single month. So the supply and demand is there for it right now, and it probably will be in the future. It also has an M4 that's in the very covert category in that case. So if that ever does get buffed after this major, that case will go up even more than it already expected is. And of course the hollows for this year, I think there's a lot of pros and cons towards them. I think the things like the Eternal Fire or the Cloud Nine or the Nine team looks absolutely amazing, but I think a lot of other people think the exact same way as you and of course i'm not gonna be able to tell until the very end but i've gone over the pros and cons in a video of the new antwerp major stickers which i suggest checking out if you haven't already essentially the antwerp logos are about 10 percent smaller for example in the copenhagen flame sticker than stockholm 2021 also the colors are a lot different it's either a love or hate relationship i am one to not really like a lot of the colors for these new stickers besides the eternal fire the 9z and of course the cloud 9 sticker i think those are the best looking ones from this major all the other ones are pretty much just recycled garbage in my opinion but i think this is an extremely big gamble and having something like the clutch case at this moment in time being a very stable price and it's like realistically a really good idea in my opinion just to keep them because it's kind of guaranteed in a sense hopefully that answered your question i would just keep them that's just me our next question up is from mr brazil games if exist a knife investment stiletto is surely one so this was from me talking about the stiletto knife in the last mando monday video possibly being the next nomad knife because simple's going to use it in the major and this is a video i'm going to cover either before you guys watch mando monday or right after because i've checked simple's inventory he has only a Ursus knife and a Stiletto knife, and it's really, really interesting to see. I don't think those are both going to go to the moon. I think the Stiletto has a chance. It's already increased quite a bit just over the past few weeks of him using it. But once again, this is exactly like the Nomad knife. There's really no like numbers backing it. It's just surely the community just liking this knife. This knife is so cheap to unbox right now, right? And that's the same thing would happen with the Nomad knife. That you can unbox the Nomad knife in a 10 cent case, yet it's jumped up four or five times up in value than it was just a few months ago. And it's the same thing with this and probably going to happen as well. But it's kind of like an 
unethical investment in my personal opinion not really based enough numbers it's kind of just luck our next question up is from lucy and he says any explanation on why the mouse stock home is 10 times more than what it was a month ago why not gambit or tyloo or about red color so essentially the the thing behind the mouse one it has the hype everyone's just talking about it i myself am a lot of people have bought into this thing as of recently as well it has pretty much doubled up in price in just the past few days just because of how good this hollow look it's really really good on crafts in my personal opinion it's one of those stickers that just look really good but it's also one of those things that it just has a name to it right it's more so of an investment for the name rather than the look and i think that's a lot why people are going with older stickers as investments or possibly some skins in the game not so for the look it's more so of of course the name of having it in your inventory and of course as an investment and of course it's really rare they're no longer a team they're not playing in this major and i don't think we're going to get a sticker that looks like this anytime in the future that's my personal opinion i believe it to be a good thing our next question up is from bishi he says will the market drop or rise i got clutch cases for 10 cents now they're 30 cents should i sell them like i said earlier man i see the clutch case as possibly the next glove case as long as they don't re-add these gloves to the game anytime soon which i wouldn't see why this case is extremely old at this point i think it's almost three or four years old almost four years old at this point in time so i don't see why they would make a clutch case too and reuse the same stuff and on top of that it's the most unboxed case in the game right now it's a really big money maker for valve i don't see them retiring it with this next case but the case after in fact i see them adding maybe something new and then of course taking probably the fracture case out or this something like that but if you can keep holding i would keep holding i think this thing is going to go to two or three dollars in the next few years possibly two to three years but you know 20 cents profit on a case is really nice as well i personally would just keep them there's not really a point of selling them now our next question up here is from pluto and he says do you think that the antwerp major sale will ruin the legends capsules absolutely without a doubt if you guys haven't seen legends capsule in csgo for the antwerp major it literally has the best teams the best logos and of course cloud nine that's a very big logo and big team big brand of course with possibly one of the best hollows of this entire major in that capsule specifically i think that's going to drive people to unbox this like absolutely nuts i think it's going to drive people to of course buy this and invest in it or maybe forget about it and just leave it in their inventory for a few years which will drive up the of course how many units we have on the market at one point in time and this is kind of going for any major sale or any sale any anywhere like if you have a sale on something it's going to drive up the price or drive down the price and up the quantity of course quite a bit just because it's cheap people are going to want it and of course these are pretty good looking stickers in my opinion because it's very similar to stockholm which is kind of garbage in some way now meaty schmeaty up with another question he says ask me how do you think the 75 percent off sale will affect stockholm stickers and capsules so this is talking about how the 75 percent off sale will affect stockholm and not antwerp so how we think it's going to affect stockholm is little to none honestly how we originally thought this major was going to go has been completely the opposite effect so we originally thought we were going to get garbage stickers or something a little different from what we got right now that wasn't a copy and paste and usually every single year even if you have pretty good stickers from the year prior they usually drop 10 to 15 percent they dropped almost half of what they were so like 40 percent but then after that the fomo set in or it kind of got rid of that and people started seeing the potential in these because they were really rare they were low in quantity and the sticker sizes for obviously antwerp was shrinked to 10 percent and some of them just weren't that great the glitter effects were garbage for a lot of stickers anyway so in my personal opinion i don't really see why they would go down i think the majority of people holding stockholm at this point in time are seeing the potential already and there's a reason we're holding them and there's a reason there's little to none on the market and people who are holding this i think prefer stockholm over antwerp anyway that's just my personal opinion love to hear what you guys thought of that question specifically now here's a quick comment and question up from master shiny the other counter-strike youtuber road to 10k brother or other so race but this is about patches and last week's mando monday video or i think it was another video just in general i talked about patches and he says he completely agrees with me patches are decent but say someone has a thousand in a storage unit the tank the price tanks 50 percent and struggles to recover it's a small budget investing item that requires a niche buyer with that being said i bought nine of them up buff and the price rose 20 percent because of it i completely agree and for people who don't understand this essentially patches how i see them there's a very niche in small market for them patches of course are going up in price and will go up in price with stockholm being extremely rare in the future but you can't just buy a thousand of them it's not like cases where you can buy you know a thousand danger zone cases for an example which is not a great investment in my opinion anyway for at least the short term versus patches patches 
there's not going to be enough buyers. So eventually you're going to hit a brick wall and that you're going to start dropping the price. And that's just how it's going to be with those. Love to hear what you guys' thoughts and opinions are on that. I don't really think they're going to change. I used to say I thought patches were maybe like gloves, but you can't really see patches. And the only way I could see patches possibly going up in the future is if Valve or CS somehow updates one day, they have a pre-game lobby like in Call of Duty or a game like Fortnite. That's pretty much what I think about it. So yeah, I just don't really think patches are the greatest thing for the future. With all that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's Mando Monday. Different, a little bit of different scenery in the background. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I've been trying a lot harder to upload more on YouTube with also keeping the quality of the videos up quite a bit. I've been trying to do a lot more editing to make it more entertaining for you as the viewer. So hopefully you guys are seeing some sort of difference in that in a good way. And of course, thank you for all the support. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button for daily Counter-Strike Global Offensive content over here on this YouTube channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.